outdated vintage ugly these are just a few of the words used to describe popcorn ceilings but what about delicious jimmy what do you got in the bowl why it's popcorn from my popcorn ceiling willy people have been so busy eating tide pods and taking the tide pod challenge that many of you don't even realize you've had popcorn on your ceiling the whole time Okay, enough with the sarcasm. So, you're here to learn how to clean your popcorn ceilings. Well, you have found the right video because today, I'm gonna show you how to clean your popcorn ceilings with confidence. One thing about popcorn ceilings is that they are great at catching dust and cobwebs. It's also common to find stains on them caused by water, grease, smoke, etc. First we're going to talk about how to remove the dust and the cobwebs from the ceiling. Then we're going to talk about stain removal. But first, a word of caution. Before you start trying to clean your popcorn ceilings, understand that if they were installed prior to the 1980s, there's a good chance they contain asbestos. Asbestos is extremely dangerous if you disturb it and then you inhale it down into your lungs it'll create cancer, specifically the cancer mesothelioma. So make sure that you have them tested before you start messing with them and disturbing them. You don't want that stuff up in the air to where you start breathing it. It's just it's bad news all around. So if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to test for asbestos, I did create a video on, on how to test for asbestos. I don't know what other words to use here. <laughs> so anyways, I'll leave that video listed and linked down below. So how to remove the dust and the cobwebs from the popcorn ceiling. First of all, you're going to need this tool. This is what we're going to be using. This is a cobweb duster right here. You attach it to a pole like this. This is a painter's pole. Okay. Get your cobweb duster. Pop it on. Just like that. And this is the tool we're going to be using. Now, if you don't know where to get one of these, you can pick it up at Home Depot, Lowe's, probably Walmart. But I will leave this listed and linked down below as well for you. You're also going to want to use some safety glasses and a dust mask. So this process is pretty simple. Take your brush here and use it to brush the ceilings where you see the cobwebs and the dust. Not much to it. Now it's going to be pretty messy. I will say, it's pretty messy. You're going to see a lot of pieces of popcorn fall down onto the ground. So you're going to need to dust and vacuum it up after you're finished. One thing you can do that is optional is you can take you like a tarp or a sheet and you can, you can lay it out where you're going to be brushing that and then when it falls down on the, on the tarp, you know, you can just fold it back up when you're done, take it outside and shake it. Now, if the mess bothers you and you want to do this in a less messy way, then just vacuum the ceilings. But you got to make sure you use the correct vacuum and the correct attachment. The vacuum you want to use is a shop vac. Now, I don't have a shop vac or else I would show it to you, but just use a shop vac. Any shop vac will do, and then you want to make sure you use the correct attachment. You want to use this thing right here, a brush attachment, okay? Nothing hard. Nothing that's going to leave scratches or knock the uh, popcorn down further, right? Just a nice little brush attachment to vacuum the ceilings with. Okay, let's talk about stain removal. So, before we go to removing stains, make sure that the cleaner that you pick, you test it in a small, inconspicuous area to make sure you don't damage, it's not going to damage your ceiling. Now, the strength of the cleaner is going to depend upon the severity of the stain. So let's talk about grease stains. Grease stains you're likely to find in your kitchen due to cooking oil going crazy up in the air during meal prep, right? So if you see some discoloration, a little bit of grease on the ceiling, then all you need to do, grab you a large spray bottle, fill it up with warm water and a few drops of dish soap and right inside. Spray your stain, okay? And take you a sponge or something like this, like a microfiber cloth, and all you gotta do is just lightly dab it. And it's all just repeat the process a few times. Spray it, lightly dab it, and then let it dry for several hours and you should be good to go. So what about mold, mildew, water, smoke stains? How do we get those off the ceiling? What we're going to do is we're going to take another bottle and we're going to make a mixture of bleach and water. I would say start with one part bleach, five parts water, and what you're going to do is just lightly mist the stain. Don't saturate it, don't spray it liberally. We don't want to create more water damage here. We're just trying to lift that stain out. So you're going to lightly mix, you're going to lightly mist the stain with your solution of bleach and water. Spray it on there, misting it, and let it dry for several hours. Now, 
If the stain ain't coming off, what you're going to need to do is make it a little bit stronger. So just add you a little bit more bleach to your solution after it dries and spray it on there again. And that bleach is going to get in there and it's going to kill that mold and that mildew that's stuck up in that popcorn ceiling. No dabbing required. Just spray spray and dry dry. Now if you go through the stain removal process and you're still not happy with the way they look, you know, it just makes you want to gag or whatever, then you have two options. Number one, remove the popcorn ceiling and get you a more modern ceiling. Or number two, just repaint them. So that's it guys, that is how to clean your popcorn ceilings. If you like this video and you found it valuable, give it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more great content. And until next time, implement the steps I have outlined in this video and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.